해볼까? On this computer. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just start uh, the lecture. Okay, so uh, today uh, I will teach a lecture number 10, which is the uh, geometry dimensioning and tolerance. So this uh, according to the uh, MLO number two, generate 2D engineering drawing of part and assembly models. And then we will break for five minutes. Then we will discuss about test two, assignment two and assignment three. Assignment three is your group assignment. And the last one, actually Dr. Chu asked me uh, about the uh, CWSA, the Certified Solid Work Associate SM for all of you, all right? So, so this lecture number 10. Okay, so what is uh, geometry dimensioning and tolerancing, GDT? I think in tutorial number five, you have done this one, the tandem A, the flatness, yeah, the parallelogram, there's a symbol parallelogram about the flatness. Yeah, within the last 15 years, there has been considerable interest in GTD, in part because of the increased probability of statistical process control. And this uh, control process, when combined with GTD, helps reduce or eliminate inspections of features on the manufactured object. The flip side, is that, that the part must be tolerant very efficiently. This is where GDD uh, comes in, right? Participants. So far, 25 students. Okay. Another reason for the increased probability of GDT is the uh, risk of a uh, worldwide standard such as ISO 9000, which require universally understood and accepted methods of uh, documentations. And this is the GDT symbol, uh, straightness, flatness, circularity, cylindricity, uh, profile surface, profile line, parallelism, perpendicularity, angularity, uh, locations, concentricity, positions, symmetry, and run out, secure run out, and total run out. And there's a compartments that make up the feature control frame. There's a tolerance modifying symbol, tolerance value, geometric characteristic, uh, primary tantum. Tantum is the reference plan, you know, we got three, primary, secondary, and tertiary. And also tantum material conditions modifier simple. Uh, so far, any questions? Uh, you can ask me, you can open your mind and ask me, no problem. And um, feature of GTT uh, tandem, uh, A is the primary, B is the secondary, C is the tertiary. And the feature of GDT modifier, yeah, that's one question. Okay, tandem is a reference plan, reference plan, right? Reference plan. Okay, uh, there are three modifiers, MMC, LMC, RFS are used to clarify impress tolerance. Okay, welcome. Impress the tolerances, there are three directly implied modifier to the tolerance value. Uh, these are uh, regardless of feature size, RFS, maximum material conditions, MMC, least material conditions, uh, LMC. And RFS is the default modifier, so there is no modifier symbol shown in the feature control frame. It means RFS is the default modifier. RFS is used when the size feature does not affect the specific uh, tolerance. Uh, specified tolerance. Uh, okay, MMC can be used to constrain the tolerance on given dimensions. MMC can be defined as the conditions of a part feature where the maximum amount of material is required. And MMC is used to maintain uh, coherence and fit between shaft and holes. Uh, with MMC, the given tolerance will be applied as a maximum shaft diameter and minimum hole diameter. So in this case, you can see uh, the shaft is the bigger dimensions, but the, but the hole is the uh, smaller dimensions, all right?
and uh, LMC is the opposite, where the size of feature contains the uh, minimum amount of material within the state limit of size. So admit all, all right. With our LMC, the given tolerance will be applied as minimum shelf diameter with maximum hole diameter. So opposite with our MMC. Uh, yes, who is talking? Uh, any questions so far? So I just uh, continue. Huh? Okay, strictness. Strictness is the two-dimensional geometry tolerance. Strictness is the conditions where one line element of a surface of a uh, must lie in a straight line. It controls how much a feature of one line element of a surface can deviate from a straight line. Strictness tolerance is applied in the view where the element to be controlled. So as you can see, the drawing on the left-hand side, okay? But when the part manufacturer come out, uh, the QC engineer will do the quality checking. So this is the exact dimensions, all right? Okay, frankness. I think you have to do it in your tutorial number five, frankness. is the conditions of a specified uh, surface having all elements in one plane. Frankness tolerance provide a tolerance zone of specified and defined by two parallel planes in where the specified surface must lie. Frankness is applied to an individual surface, uh, frankness tolerance does not need to be related to a tandem. Uh, circularity is a condition of a surface of a part. Circularity tolerance is used to control the roundness of circular parts of features. Circular features can be defined by cylinders, spheres, and cones. Circularity tolerance control each circular element of a cylinder independent of each other. And circularity tolerance is applied to an individual surface. Circularity tolerance does not need to be related to a tandem. Okay, parallelism. Parallelism uh, is this symbol and is the condition of a surface or center plane equal distance to all point from a tandem plane or an axis. The distance between the parallel lines of surface is specific by the geometry tolerance zone. Parallelism can also be specified uh, tolerance zone defined by two parallel planes or lines parallel to a tandem plane or axis respectively, where the surface or axis of the feature must lie. And perpendicularity, uh, this is the symbol. Uh, perpendicular, perpendicularity tolerance is the three-dimensional geometry tolerance that control how much of surface acid or plan can deviate from a 90 degree angle, or it can be defined as a conditions of a surface. Medium plan or acid at 90 degree to a tandem plan or acid. A tolerance plan with perpendicularity can be defined by two parallel plan perpendicular to a tandem plan, tandem axis or axis is within where the surface of the feature must line. Concentricity, okay? Concentricity tolerance zone control the medium points of a feature of size. Concentricity tolerance is a condition in which the axis of all cross-section elements of a feature surface of revolutions are common to the axis of tandem feature, it means there's only one axis. Uh, concentricity tolerance specified a uh, cylindrical tolerance zone whose axis coincides with a tandem axis and within which all cross-sectional axis of a feature being controlled must lie. Positional. Positional tolerance is the three is the three-dimensional geometry tolerance that control how much the locations of a feature can deviate from its true uh, positions. Uh, yes, who is talking? Uh, yes. Anything? If not, then I continue. 
Positional tolerance is used to locate features of a size from tandem plans such as a hole or keyway and used to locate features coaxial to a tandem axis. A position tolerance is the total permissible variations if the, in the locations of a feature about its exact true positions. Positional tolerances for cylindrical features, the position tolerance zone is typically a cylinder within which the axis of the feature must lie. Okay, then we finish the uh, natural number 10. I think let me finish test number two. Then we break for five minutes. Is that okay for you? Then I continue for test two, all right? So the test two uh, uh, will be held on 13th of June, 2 to 5 p.m. Week number 12, uh, Monday, three hours. It's a bit long exam. So they, uh, I think, nine part then you need to do one assembly you need to create a 2d engineering drawing for the assembly and you, you need to indicate the mass of the assembly all right so far any question from the floor okay if you cover tutorial one to eight and by which is a mlo one to three if you finish tutorial number eight by uh, week number 11 you need to create all individual parts, okay? Assembly and 2D drawing of assembly, which consists of a balloon. BOM is the uh, build of material, exploded lines, exploded wheels, assembly wheels, indicate the mass of the assembly, okay? And then the 2D drawing of each individual part is not required, all right? Uh, but there are two features uh, uh, not covered in your syllabus, all right? how to do the trap and mirror, mirror the whole part so that it can become another part. Okay, so I will teach uh, how to do the trap first. So I, I open my solid work. Huh? I open my solid work. So this is my solid work. So can you see my solid work or not? You can reply me uh, in the chat box. Yes, all right. Thanks, Mr. Fu. All right, so I open how to make a thread. Huh? So open, let's say part one. I think not this one. Uh, yeah, I think part one, yes, correct. Part one. Huh? So I delete this one first because I've done it already. But I need to show you again. So I delete this one. I delete this one. Yes. And then suspect this part. Also suspect this part. Okay, let's say you have a screw like this, you know. But then there's no trap here. In your tutorial, I think we use symbol, means we just call in from the library. But here I teach you how to do the physical, the real trap. Okay, there are three ways, you know, three ways. So I just show you the three ways, no problem. I have uploaded uh, one way uh, in times. You can uh, watch in the video. But I will show you all together three methods here. So first of all, right? Mm. So this is my screw without trap, all right? So admit. So we need to create, go to curve, okay? Helix and sp spiral. And then select this edge or this plane, all right? Sketch go to convert entities because I need to get this uh, sketch, you know, the circle. Then, okay. Okay, this button, okay. All right, you see the spiral, right? Can you see the spiral? All right, let's say in this case, I need to do a view, admit all. I open my word document first. Huh? Mm. 
uh, what document? All right, this way, this way. Yes, anyone talking? Okay. In thread, right? In thread, in thread, huh? So, okay. They are two standard, all right? They are two standard. One is the metric, M-E-T-R-I-C, and another one is U-S. U-S one is inch, you know, inch. So in your test, uh, you will need to create a thread based on U-S. Okay, let's say I give you a dimension, 0 0.25, inch, all right, times 28, not times, that's, that's 28 times two inch. Okay, let's say like this, huh? which means uh, the screw has a 0 0.25 inches. Okay, the dimensions, diameter, all right, 25 inches. This one is the diameter, diameter, no, I write at the bottom. So the first one, 0 to 2.5 inch is the diameter of screw, all right? 28 means um, TPI. TPI means thread per inch, okay? Which means in one inch got how many revolutions? How many, all right? Let's say got 30, got 28. So in this case, 28, right? So the last one, two inch, what means by two inch? Two inch is the thread length, all right? Thread length, all right, thread length. Let's say I want to do this modeling in my SOLIDWORK. Then I go back to my SOLIDWORK, open my SOLIDWORK, all right? Okay, where's my helix? Uh? Oh, my helix, helix, my helix, gone already. Then I do it one more time, all right. Sketch that I call back my helix. Mm. Feature, yeah, this one. Helix, yeah, this one. So the height is, let's say my screw, uh, the uh, track length is 0 0.4, 0 0.4 inch, all right? And the pitch, how we calculate the pitch? Let's say uh, the length, uh, we got 28, all right? 28 revolution per inch. So I need to calculate, I need to calculate, uh, one divided by 28, one divided by 28, so, one divided by 28 is equal to 0 0.357 uh, inch, okay? Pitch, this is a pitch length, you know? Then my, let's say my tweet length got 0 0.4. So 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.0357, which is equal to, so for any question, you can ask me, you know? 0 0.0357. So there are about 11 revolutions, you know? 11.2, 11 or 12, you know, or 12 revolutions, right? So the pitch is 0 0.0357. 0 .0 you need to key in here and also here, all right? And also here. Why I can't change the dimensions here? 0 0.0357. All right, then I click enter. Yeah, you see the spiral become very really nice, you know? Then I click okay. So I got a spiral. Spiral is my uh, path, you know, path. Then I need to create a profile. What's the cut profile? So I go to select, let's say, right right hand center the center of the screw you know then i go to sketch and 